Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 10, Informal Proof of Angle-Angle Criterion for Similarity. So the AA here is Angle-Angle. Exercise 1 through 5 it says, Number 1, use a protractor to draw a pair of triangles with two pairs of equal angles. Then measure the lengths of the sides and verify that the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal in ratio. Okay, so I brought in the protractor and the ruler. And what I'm going to do is draw a line segment. And I'm going to make it, oh, let's say six, roughly six. Actually, I want it exactly six. So six is right here. So... I'm going to grab my eraser and just move it back just that little bit. And that should be about six. Okay. And I'm going to draw another segment over here. And I'm going to make it shorter. I'm only going to make it, let's go half, three. Okay. Back it up two, three there. That's an easier way to do it. Okay. So there's my two segments. So it says, use a protractor to draw a pair of triangles with two pairs of equal angles. So I'm going to put my protractor right here at the beginning of this segment so that it's right on the zero here. And how about we make the first angle 30 degrees, which would be bringing me out to here. So then if I get my ruler up here and I rotate it up to there, there's 30 degrees. Okay, this ruler acts as a protractor as well, which is pretty neat. So there's my angle that's 30 degrees. Okay, so you're going to do the same on your paper, but since my ruler is electronic, it doesn't move. So this is still 30, so if I draw a line segment from this end here up like so, then this is also 30 degrees. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so how, let's make this uh, other angle like 80 degrees. Okay, well, well, so I'll put my protractor at this end right on the end, right here. Come on now. There we go. And I want to make it 80 degrees, which is Where's 80? 80 is right here. Okay, so when I move my protractor out of the way, whoa. All right, so now I'm gonna move this. And rotate to 80. So, if I go 80 degrees on this ruler, I'm actually going around over to 100 because 100 plus 80 is 180. Okay, so if I draw my line like that, now this is 80 degrees. And if I do the same with this triangle, like so, then this is 80 degrees. All right, so now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, bring my eraser down like so and here all right there we go so there are our two triangles this is 30 degrees this is 80 degrees this is 30 degrees and this is 80 degrees these two triangles are similar then it says to measure the lengths of the sides and verify that the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal in ratio so now i'm going to measure the sides so if i put my ruler here this was six millimeters, the corresponding side. So if I call this AB, then let's call this A prime, B prime, and I measure it, and it's three. Okay, so then if I go back to my 30 degrees and measure this side, And it is 63 or 6.3. See if that's exact. 
Let's go 6.2. 6.2. Okay, so if I come over here and measure this one, get it right on the zero, right there, that is 3.1. Rotate this over to the 100 degrees that we set it at. That's what's nice about doing this electronically. This is 100 degrees, so it'll line up with this side. Put this right at zero, and I'm at, it looks like 3.1. 3 to 3.1, and then if I move over here, it is 1.5 or 1.55. Okay. And let's call this C and call this C prime. So I can take any side. Let's do the 6.2. So if I say AC is to A prime C prime, and we're talking about length, so I'll put it in absolute value. The length of AC divided by the length of A prime C prime equals, and AC is 6 over 6.2, and the length of A prime C prime is 3.1. And that equals 2 over 1, which is just simply 2. So that's my R. And if I do that with any other one, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3.1 divided by 1.55, they're all going to come out to be a ratio of 2. So we just verified that the lengths of corresponding sides are equal in ratio. Okay. Okay, so number two said to draw a new pair of triangles with two pairs of equal angles, then measure the lengths of the sides and verify that the lengths of the corresponding sides are, sides are equal in ratio. So rather than going through that whole process again, because it's very time consuming, I just brought in an image. And so we have two triangles, triangle ABC and A prime B prime C prime. So A is 90 and A, A prime is 90. B is 54, B prime is 54, C is 36 degrees, and C prime is 36 degrees. The measures of the, of the sides are 3, 4, 5, and 9, 12, 15, respectively. So if I take 9 over 3, or 12 over 4, or 15 over 5, then I get equivalent ratios of 3 over 1, or 3. So this is three times the size of the original pre-image, ABC. Okay. Number three. It says, are the triangles shown below similar? Present an informal argument as to why they are or are not similar. So if I look at B prime and I look at B, they're both 103 degrees. So I would say, I would say the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle B prime, which equals 103 degrees. And then if I look at A prime and A, they're both 31 degrees. So I would say the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle A prime, which equals 31 degrees. So I've now confirmed that B is congruent to B prime, A is congruent to A prime, and remember the triangle sum theorem says that angle A plus angle B plus angle C always equals 180 degrees. So if A is 103, if A is 31 degrees and B is 103 degrees, then A C has to equal the supplement of the sum of these two. So this is 134 degrees, so I'd say 134 degrees plus C equals 180 degrees. Actually, it should be angle C. And then when I subtract 134, the measure of angle C is 46 degrees. So therefore, C prime would be 46 degrees. So if I know two angles are congruent, then the third has to be because of the triangle sum theorem. Okay, so we only need two angles. Once we know two angles are congruent, two pair of corresponding angles are congruent, 
then the triangles are similar. Okay, number four says, are the triangles shown below similar? Present an informal argument to show why they are or are not similar. So if I do a comparison here, I see A prime is here and A is here, and they're both 31 degrees. So I'd say the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle A prime, which equals 31 degrees. Okay. B is here. Let me change colors. B is here. B is here. B is 85 degrees. B prime is 103 degrees. So the measure of angle B does not equal the measure of angle B prime. Therefore, the two triangles are not similar. Okay, I don't have two angles that are two pairs of corresponding angles congruent. Number five. Again, we're going to try to prove the same thing. So I look at A. A is here. A prime is here. They're both 72 degrees. So I'd say the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle A prime, which is 72 degrees. And now, if you look, they're giving us C is 48 degrees. But if I look over at C here, there's no angle measure value here. B has no value here, but B prime is 60 degrees. So what we need to do is a triangle sum theorem. So I'll do it. I'll say angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. And please don't be lazy here. Practice using these formulas so you memorize them and you learn how to solve algebraic equations at the same time. So the measure of angle A in my small triangle is 72 degrees. The measure of angle B, I don't know, so I'm going to put angle B plus the measure of angle C, which is 48 degrees, equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus that 1 is 12. So angle B plus 120 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 120 from both sides, and the measure of angle B is 60 degrees. So I can mark this as 60 degrees. So now I see that B prime is 60 degrees. I can say the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B prime which equals 60 degrees, okay? And then I would say, therefore, the triangles are similar because I have two angles corresponding congruent, okay? That is the end of lesson 10. Review the summary and go do your problem set.